Clear Creek ISD is also renovating one of its robotics buildings. It's one of the only schools in the country with this type of technology. Our Brittany Jeffers live for us this morning from Clear Creek High to show us this very cool way of learning. Brittany, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, and I got to tell you, it is incredibly impressive. This is the 26th year of the robotics program, and as you mentioned, this is the only district in the area that has a space specifically designed for robotics events. Now, we did get to take a look inside, and I also got to speak with some of the students about why they decided to get involved. So this robot probably has like tons of hours been put into it. They call it a sport for the mind. And we build everything from the small plastic robots that you saw up to big $40,000 machines. The robotics program at Clear Creek ISD boasts 135 robotics teams across 43 campuses. It's even bringing home national awards in the competition realm. Now that we have a permanent home and this facility stays set up like this year round, we had over 25 events here last season. We only had 18 football games in our stadium. So just to tell you how often and how many kids are competing in robotics. So does that mean this is part of the ramp? The robotics and engineering program manager says the district is unique in offering firsthand experiences for seniors all the way through elementary age students. This is the excellence award and it's the most prestigious award in VexIQ Robotics. Myrene Hassan is a fourth grader who's collected quite the hardware collection. The robot you see here is a prototype she's working on for next year's competition. So I get to learn designing, programming, documenting. Students of all ages developing skill sets that are valuable in and out of the classroom. Yeah, these kids are learning learning to work together. They're learning teamwork. Robotics has a lot of possibilities. And um, many people think that it's all technical, it's only building or it's programming. But there's so many like other parts of it that get overlooked. Some of my closest friends have come from robotics. Some incredible creations that these students have made. Now, I did speak with the instructor, and he tells me that you don't have to have any kind of experience in robotics in order to join. He says the only requirement is that you have an interest. He says that this year, the district will be expanding some of their program and offering some of these experiences to second and third graders. Reporting live this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. That is something. Yeah, never too early to uh -uh. start, right? Get Love that imagination that. working. There you go. Brittany, awesome. thank you. Very cool it's to see.